Hello and welcome to the second part of our Houdini 20.5 tutorial. As you can see our landslide has been simulated and we see here the massive amount of the soil breaking down to the affected gravity. And also the chunks here, the grass patches break apart and everything gets into a massive soil avalanche. But you cannot all only simulate tiny and large avalanches with the MPM solver, you can really also do some fluid and mud combination as you can see see here of the tire example of the MPM solver and we have here different regions of uh, water mud and a high spinning wheel that creates this kind of swirly mud effect So let's make this a bit more realistic and for that we're gonna change the domain here to make it a bit larger for the dirt and mud to play around on this element. And we can then see that the solver is um, now making the mud And here you see that we have a larger mud field with puddle pedals and different material behaviors. So let's simulate this and see how we can get a more realistic look. So we can see our mud and water bursts here are way too fast and they also stick on top of our domain. So let's change that with a few clicks here. So with the changings here in the domain you can uh, enter an upper padding of 10 and that allows us to make the scene a bit more wider in the y-axis. So I also want the time scale of the simulation to be a bit more slower and I'm um, using a value of 2.5 to speed down the simulation process and to also make it a bit more stable and not so fast swirling around. So let's see how this is looking now. So it's looking a bit more realistic and natural now. As you can see it splashes of the water. The mud in my opinion is still a bit too swirly. It's jumping off very high. So maybe I'm going to do another iteration with uh, a lower value of the time scale. Especially the water is coming out very nice. Splashing up here. As you can see here. Nice fountain. Okay, let's change that. And here is our next mod simulation. As you can see, it's getting a bit more massive now and slower also. So always keep in mind to evaluate the scale of your element you want to simulate. In, in our case, it's this muddy uh, puddle water-like surface. Also watch reference videos of real mud flowing up into the space. And yeah, that's something that makes the release of Houdini 25 so interesting. And you pretty much can do stupid funny thing with the MPM solver. So here we have a little digging wheel into the mud and puddle field here and you can see that 
even gravity cannot pull this down. So let's move on to the next example of the MBM solver in Houdini 25. So the pancakes example pretty much shows how different elements and uh, material parameters work together in the MPM solver. So we have here those uh, viscous pancakes and the, um, the honey that is, or chocolate, which is poured on top. And then everything gets um, cutted by this um, kitchen tool. And we can see that the physics and the um, combination of all elements give a very interesting result. So let's dive in and make some changes to um, make this even more interesting. So first I make the pancakes a bit larger so we have some kind of a pizza style. That is achieved here with the sphere radius and the transform put to a value of uh, 533 and then um, we gonna pipe that into our MPM solver system and you can see now we have a very large amount here of pancakes so in the material settings you can see that we have here a preset of rubber and the behavior of chunky this is giving our big pancakes the um, appearance of a uh, dough-like uh, material but I want the pancakes also to be more more of them and a bit more higher so that we have a very nice simulation with the pancakes falling from the sky like in the movie um, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, if you remember. So let's see what this is getting. And now let's simulate everything. All right, let's start the mess.